Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to another magnificent Monday. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the concept of becoming a con artist, doing what you love to do. Con artist, that's confidence artist. Um, this is a concept that I learned from Jack Canfield and uh, strategic coach Dan Sullivan. You know, Sullivan stated that all entrepreneurs are really con artists. They get people to pay them to practice getting better at what they love to do. Since we're finally in full Major League Baseball swing, I'll use an example from that world to illustrate this concept. You know, Clinton Kershaw. Clinton Kershaw is the LA Dodgers ace pitcher, and he happens to have a 217 million summer year contract. Now he gets paid huge money to win games. He wins games by retiring, retiring batters who in turn are attempting to either make contact with the, with the uh, pitch ball or draw a walk. That's the basic concept of, of baseball. He does this by controlling the speed, location, and trajectory of the ball better than anyone else in baseball today. So guess where he spends, spends most of his time? In, the pra in practice. In practice, perfecting his pitches. You know, Major League pitchers rest three to five games after every game that they pitch. So most of the time, they're not on the mound. Kershaw gets paid hundreds of millions of dollars to practice getting better at what he loves to do. So he has found his core genius and devotes a majority of his time, the majority of his waking hours, really, to perfecting his genius. So by the way, last night, Kershaw allowed one run on two hits while striking out 12 across seven innings as he pitched up the win against the Diamondbacks. So this, this works for him. My point is this, you know, most entrepreneurs are not great delegators. I, I, I count myself among them. We do everything ourselves and therefore are not focused on our core genius. You know, studies show that most entrepreneurs spend less than 30% on their core, of their, of their time, spend less than 30, we spend less than 30% of our time focusing on our core genius and unique abilities. So in fact, by, you know, studies show by the time entrepreneurs have launched their business, it often seems entrepreneurs are doing everything but the one thing that they went into business for in the first, first place. So we're doing everything but the thing, the one thing that we wanted to do. So don't let this be your fate. Identify your core genius and delegate completely to free up more time to focus on what you love to do. That's easier said than done, but doing this with consistency, doing this with consistency, that's hard for me to say, will help you become a con artist doing what you love to do. A key to doing that is developing the right partnerships. And as good as Kernshaw is, he still needs his eight teammates on the field to win games. Uh, those are his partners on the field. Speaking of partnerships, uh, our upcoming One More Customer event features Frank Tarkenton and retired Lieutenant Colonel Rob Waldo Waldman. And they're going to be discussing the power of partnership to reach new heights in business and life. So this unique networking and business coaching event will take place this Wednesday, 8.15 to 9.30 at Herzing University in Winter Park. So make sure that you get there early and bring guests. Until then, have a great week. And as always, I encourage you to do mass and be mass. Take care.